Hi everyone! So I'm finally back with a lower body workout. I know a lot of you are starting a push-up challenge for the week, so none of you are going to be having any upper body workouts this week. But I will still be posting an upper body workout. Um, anyways, so this is a lower body workout and it's split up in three different parts. And we're going to do all three parts for the total of two rounds. So you're going to do three parts, take maybe two minutes break, three minutes break, and then you're going to repeat it, the whole thing one more time. I'm going to start the first part of my workout and it's going to be done for time. I'm going to set my timer as a stopwatch and here I go. Make sure you're not rushing your squats on the way up. Second exercise in the first part of the workout, jump lunges with a medicine ball. Last exercise in this part, jump squats. Almighty. So this was just the first part. There's also going to be a second part, which is interval training and a very tough one, I might add. Also, after the interval training, I'm going to do one more, actually it's two more exercises, a combo. And then we're going to repeat the whole thing one more time. Second part of this workout is going to be interval training. Uh, there's only going to be eight, eight, eight. There's only going to be one exercise, and we're going to repeat this exercise eight times. Uh, of course, for the proper form, watch the workout recap part of the video. Let's do it. No clippy. Kind of a long break but then we need this long break.
good numbers. I want to do the dance really badly, but this is not over. I still have one combination to go. So, without taking any breaks, we're just going to move right into it. today this last part was not a time challenge you just pretty much had to go for the proper form and the reps um, so now I'm gonna finish off this workout myself and I'm gonna do one more round of this whole thing and I will also go over the explanations for beginners variations for beginners in the workout recap video stay tuned Let's start with the first exercise. There's three exercises in the first part. And the first part, we're gonna be doing it as a just one round circuit and just for time. You're gonna set your timer as a stopwatch. For this exercise, I was using a 12 pound medicine ball and my VersaFit bag, 40 pounds. Um, if you don't have a VersaFit bag, I have a post on my site how you can make a bag like this. So if you don't have it, you can make one. It's probably under $15 you can make one like this. So make sure you check out that post. So the first exercise in this routine was squats. Squats, as you know, we're gonna go down semi-fast and when we go up, we're gonna slow down the movement just a bit. So all it is is a squat, like a regular squat, you're going to grab your bag, you're going to load it so it's not hurting your back. You're going to keep your back straight. You're going to go down to about here. You can almost put your elbows in the front and if you touch it with your elbows, that's the way you want to go. You're going to go up slower and you're going to tuck your butt in. You're going to go down and you're going to tuck your butt in. And you're going to keep going until you reach the full amount of reps. If you are a beginner, what you're going to do is you're going to probably hold something lighter, something that's not 40 pounds. You can either do regular squats. Or you can do a lighter weight. Make sure your abs are always tight in this movement. Your back is always straight. And if you're feeling any pressure in your back, you have to adjust your body so there is no pressure in your back. 
Now, one more thing. Don't drop the bag, boom, like this. Make sure you carefully place it down when you're done with your exercise. Even if you're extremely tired, you place the bag in a controlled movement down. The next exercise, I was using my, uh, my 12 pound medicine, uh, medicine? <laughs> medicine ball. It was a jump squat. You're gonna do a jump squat your knee is not going to be touching the ground because we're jumping so you can if you want to but you have to be very careful my knee almost touched the ground here the ball is going to be in front of you as you jump up you are going to extend your arms and then as you land your ball goes back down so it's a, one movement so this is what it's going to look like you're going to do a lunge and you're gonna switch in one movement. Oh, and you're gonna balance. After you jump, make sure you balance and you're standing straight. Balance. After every time you jump, don't just run through your movements. You're gonna jump, you're gonna balance. You're gonna jump, you're gonna balance. If you're a beginner, you're just gonna hold your hands right here, or you're gonna hold your hands on your hips, also, if you're a complete, complete beginner, you're just gonna do regular lunges. Your back is straight, your abs are tight, um, or you could just do regular jump lunges if you're a little bit on a higher level of a beginner. So you're gonna balance right here. Ah, one more squat, one more One, two. This is what your jump lunge is gonna look like. Make sure you're not doing anything crazy like this. Am I doing this incorrectly enough for you? <laughs> not doing anything crazy. We're doing everything in a controlled movement. The third exercise in, uh, in the first part was jump squats and I was using my bag. You're going to load the bag onto your, uh, onto your back. And um, what I like about this bag is that it falls to the front where the regular sandbag squishes your spine. This one just kind of rolls to the front. So you can obviously, you can definitely hold the bag in front of you, but I noticed it can be kind of tough on your, on your back when you're doing jump squats. So from here, I was doing just regular jump squats. You can squat as low as you want, or you can squat a little bit higher and you're just gonna do regular, jump squats. Your back is always straight, your abs are always engaged, and every single move has to be a quality move. If you feel like you're getting really tired and burned out, stop for a second, take a quick break, and then keep going. If you are a beginner, you are going to be doing the same exercise, but either with your arms behind your head or in front of you. And you're also going to be doing a jump squat. Part of this routine is interval training. There's only one exercise and there's going to be eight rounds of this exercise. The break interval is a little bit longer than I normally have. So don't you even think about shortening your break interval because if you do that, you are not going to be able to go through uh, the full amounts of reps your body will not have time to recover so make sure your break is not anywhere less than 15 seconds this is what the exercise looks like this is a kickback and twist jump here you're going to kick your arms where your triceps are completely used your head is, is specifically in this position so that way you don't over twist you're going to uh, keep your head to the side like this and your arms are backwards and they're, and they're going to be completely tight from here, you're gonna jump up, bring your arms, twist, and your head goes to the side again. This will help you not to get overturned. So this is how you're gonna do it. Kick, kick. See how my arms are working? Abs are tight, back is straight. And the head turns this way so you don't go crazy. This is the proper position. This is not a low squat like this. This is a squat like this. You're gonna feel your butt, your thighs burning, 
and make sure you are kicking your arms and making your full body work. So not just jump, make it quality. The last exercise is going to be a combo. And this combo consists of two exercises. My sweat is dripping into my eye, it's a good thing I guess. This combo is going to be made with two exercises. Superman lift, rollover, butt lift. This is great for your back as well as your butt. From here, you're gonna do a lift, rising as high as you can, squeezing your butt and rising your back and your arms. You see, your glutes are staying squeezed. Now, you can keep your legs a little bit bended if you want, you can extend them, whatever is more comfortable for you. The most important thing is the way your glutes are getting contracted and your back is being lifted simultaneously. From here, you're going to do, after you're done with your reps, you're going to roll over. Place your feet into the bridge, a little bit wider than a, hip, than a shoulder width apart. And you're going to do mini butt squeezes. Once you're done with your reps, you're going to roll back and go again. Uh, beginners are going to do exactly the same thing. If you're really having a hard time, beginners, you can raise your butt and your hand only one at a time. And then roll over, helping yourself with your hands and do the same thing on the bridge. Now, what would I want to talk to you guys about? Oh, before I go, I wanted to show you the twist jump for beginners. Beginners, instead of doing a twist jump, You are not going to be doing it in the interval training type of way. I'm going to write out on my blog what beginners are going to be doing. You're not going to do the interval training part. But instead of doing the twist jump, beginners are just going to do regular jump. They're going to go kick back, kick back. So this is what beginners are going to do. No twisting for beginners. And that's beginner level one. If you're beginner level two, then you could add a little twist. So this was my workout for today, guys. And uh, I just posted a little nutrition, I would say it's a challenge, but it's like a little nutrition thing that I'm following right now. It's very simple, nothing crazy. I don't count calories, I don't complicate anything. So make sure you check that out if you wanna follow that with me. And of course, I wanted to thank you guys for sharing your scores with me. It's more and more people are doing love me fit and doing love me fit, love me fit, love me fit. Anyways. That's my dance that I didn't get to finish. So guys, I will see you in a couple of days. As always, I'm waiting for your feedback and thank you so much for everything and for your scores and support. I will see you in a couple of days. Здравствуйте, мои дорогие. Сегодня у меня для вас тренировка на нижнюю часть тела. А на прошлой неделе мы не успели сделать еще одну тренировку для начинающих, но я вам обещаю, что на этой неделе мы ее обязательно сделаем, она у меня уже готова. Вот. А сейчас я вам объясню быстренько эту тренировку, которую я делала сегодня. Значит, для этой тренировки я использовала вот такую вот сумочку. Эта сумочка весит 20 кг. И еще я использовала вот такой вот мячик, он, он весит 6 кг. Я, у меня на блоге есть одна статья, которую я написала буквально несколько дней назад. Что вы можете сделать, то есть как вы можете построить, построить сами такую сумочку и такой мячик. Вам не обязательно это покупать, вы можете очень-очень легко это сделать. И у меня на блоге как раз есть такая статья с разными видео, как вы можете все это смастерить. Значит так, в этой а, тренировке было три части, и все три части я повторила два раза. Первая часть была, была исполнена из трех упражнений. Первое упражнение это было приседание с сумкой, и его я выполняла 30 раз. Очень главное в этом упражнении держать ваш кор натянут, также вашу спину прямую. Когда вы поднимаете сумку или гантели, что у вас там есть, конечно же, по, по своему собственному фитнес-левелу, ваша спина должна быть всегда прямая. Вы загрузили сумку. Отсюда вы делаете 3, то есть это приседание было 30 раз. Вы приседаете вниз, где-то буквально до сюда, ваши ноги где-то на ширине плеч. 
И когда вы приподнимаетесь наверх, ваш, а, ваше движение должно быть замедленнее. Значит, сюда вниз вы можете опускаться быстро, а наверх немножечко замедленно. И также всегда сжимайте ваши ягодицы. И почти что подталкивайте ваши бедра вперед. Это упражнение было сделано 30 раз. Второе упражнение – это прыжки, выпады. Прыжки, выпады. Значит так, а для начинающих вы можете делать это упражнение просто с, низ, с низким весом. То есть это будет выглядеть то же самое, только с низким весом. Значит так, прыжки, выпады я делала с таким мячиком. Становитесь в выпад, ваша нога идет. То есть вы здесь не касаетесь коленком, коленкой до пола. Спина всегда прямая, пресс натянут, мячик перед вами. Здесь вы одним и тем же движением будете перепрыгивать и менять ноги. И мячик идет вперед. Это будет выглядеть вот так. То есть, когда вы, присед, когда вы приседаете на ногу, вы здесь вы выдыхаете. Выдыхайте, выдыхайте, выдыхайте. Значит так, если вы начинающий, то вы будете делать то же самое. И, кстати, это упражнение я выполняла 30 раз. То есть каждая нога, каждый прыжок считается как один раз. Если вы начинающий, то вы будете делать то же самое движение, только без мячика. Вы можете делать либо вот такие прыжки, либо вы можете делать просто обыкновенные выпады. Раз, два, и так 30 раз. Третье движение – это вот такое вот, а, вот такое вот а, приседание с прыжком. Я, я надевала сумку на себя. Здесь вы держите спину, спину прямую. Здесь вы делаете такое приседание, это, и это все я выполняла 20 раз. Здесь вы делаете тоже так же, держите спину прямой и сделаете приседание и прыжок 20 раз. Спина всегда прямая. Если у вас, если вы начинающий, то вы можете делать это упражнение с руками за голову. Либо держа руки вот здесь. И это упражнение 20 раз. Так, вторая часть этой тренировки. Это была интервальная часть. И я ставила свой вот такой вот таймер на 8 повторений. 15 секунд у вас будет перерыв. 30 секунд максимальная отдача. Я всего лишь делала одно упражнение. И это был такой прыжок с поворотом. Значит, правильная форма этого прыжка. Вы садитесь, то есть не совсем в приседании, а чуть-чуть в полуприседании. Ваши руки отходят назад, и вы зажимаете ваши трицепсы. Ваша голова всегда смотрит в сторону. Когда вы перепрыгиваете, вы зажимаете руки кверху, перепрыгиваете, и ваша голова тоже поворачивается. Это вам поможет, чтобы вы не перекрутились. Значит так, руки всегда кикают назад. Отсюда вы будете делать вот такой прыжок. Раз, два, три. Здесь работает все ваше тело, ваш пресс всегда натянут. И так вы будете повторять этот интервал, этот, этот, эту интервальную тренировку так вот 8 раз, 8 кругов. И последняя часть этой тренировки, это была вот такая вот вещь. Это был супермен, то есть как супермен лифт. Отсюда вы будете ложиться на, на ваш живот. Здесь вы будете приподниматься, зажимать ягодицы, поднимать спину вперед. Вы будете это делать 10 раз. 10 раз сделали, да? Потом отсюда вы переворачиваетесь, встаете в мостик и делаете 10 мини-мостиков. 2, 3, 4, так 10 раз. Потом вы отсюда переворачиваетесь за ног и делаете опять 10 Переворачивайтесь и также 10 мостиков. Это вы будете делать 3 раза. Вот такую комбинацию. Потом вы отдыхаете минуты 3 и делаете все это заново еще один раз. И это была моя сегодняшняя тренировка. Надеюсь, вам понравилось. Вот, что я еще хотела вам сказать. Вроде бы все сказала. Спасибо огромное за внимание. Я вас очень люблю.